So here at DDK9, we're known for protection dogs, but obviously these dogs start out as puppies. Sometimes we need to just take a step back and enjoy the moment with the puppies. I'm just looking for, you know, the next dog that's going to be able to be the ambassador, you know, for what I do. We're going to turn them into some lean, mean fighting machines that will be able to protect their future owners. Breeding is a pretty big part of our business, so we always got a lot of puppies around. Today we're going to photograph the puppies to make sure they look the best for our potential clients. You gotta give them a bath first, and just get them cleaned up. When your days are extra busy sometimes in the morning, one of the moms took herself a little, a little poop and uh, he stepped in it. So we gotta clean off some of these puppies. Puppies will be puppies. They will step in each other. It's amazing. Yeah, they've never had a bath before. We don't, we don't give them baths unless they need it. And uh, unfortunately, they needed it. Good, yeah, you're good. You're so bundled up. Look at you. You're good. When we have a new litter of puppies, they never fail to melt my heart. I mean, look at them. This is why we have the best job ever. Look at that little face. Uh, look, look the little female hug. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You're good. It's very therapeutic to just spend time with the puppies and watch them just totally relax in your hands and under the water. You want to get a good you want to say hi to your bro? Say hi to your bro, come on. He kind of looks like me. Yeah, it's your brother. Just showing you that he's got a big mouth. Or her, she. Black one over here. This I'm I'm calling him Aslan. Which <clears throat> means lion. So their little Hulk puppies are like three weeks old. The female will probably be, be sold or end up at a, a, one of my franchises. I'll keep this little fella right here. Napping it out, General? All right. Go on in there, little fellas. Whoa. So now the puppies are clean, it's time to take some photos of them. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna grab my little light box. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna take pictures of Hulk's little puppies now. It's Hulk and Paisley's daughter. She's about two and a half weeks old. Oh man, there you go, girl. Thank you. So sometimes I gotta just take a step back and just be a regular person that just loves the puppies because they're a few weeks old. They're just absolutely adorable. Hulk first pick puppy sell for 15000 And first pick is like the biggest, best looking puppy of the litter. Some of them different litters might be 25000 something, but like this dog, yeah, about fifteen. She looks like she's posing. These pictures will be all over our social media, Instagram, Facebook. One. That one's pretty good though too. It's just a, from the side. I don't really like the dog like, sitting, but from here it's good. Yeah, I mean now, now that I got the pictures, I mean it should be a day or so, a week. I mean it depends. It really depends on how they come in, but they'll sell and they'll sell quick. So now that the world knows, that's it. I really love the puppies, but for me, I really become a lot more interested in them when they get a bit bigger and you know, I can really start to teach them some stuff. We selected two of the older dogs that are ready to start training. This is Sosa, and uh, this female, I've been calling her Jane, and we're gonna be training these two today. We're gonna start with some dry building and just some basic imprinting stuff. They're still pretty young, so they're, pretty, they're very, 
uh, kind of basic beginning stages of training. When I'm seeking a dog to select for protection work, it can really vary at what age they kind of show themselves. It, it really depends, but normally by, by the least, you know, six, eight weeks, you know, I'm, I'm pretty clear. You know, as you go further along, there's, there's a few points at where you know, they might not make it past there as well. So this is, this is a very serious game and it, it takes a very select dog to make it to the top. These two are a little bit older. And I've picked them out especially because I think they have what it takes for some protection work. The main things that you're looking for in a dog, obviously a dog needs to have a high drive, you know, that's something that you look for, that the dog has drive. But you're looking for stability, you know, you're looking for the dogs that, you know, are not, you know, barking at everything that they see or not, you know, that they're confident in themselves. They have to be driven for something. Generally, when it comes to protection work, you know, they have to be driven for a bite. You know, a lot of dogs are driven by food. Um, some dogs are more heavily driven by a ball. What you can normally, if a dog has like a super high ball drive, like you can normally transfer that drive into tug and into a different type of, of work. You know, food, not so much. What I'm doing is I'm starting to build his his possessiveness over it, right? So that's that's why I'm over top of him. And I'm taking it away, but I'm not really taking it away. So I still want him to have it. I'm just looking for, you know, the next dog that's gonna be able to be the ambassador, you know, for what I do in terms of, you know, protection training, you know, as a, from a puppy. Picture a dog like chasing a squirrel, chasing an animal, that, that's what it is. So it's simulating that there's a pulse. You know, and the animal's still alive. That's why you see me moving it when it's in his mouth, because I'm just, I'm keeping moving, because right now he, he, needs, he needs heavy stimulation. Yeah, right now all I want is for him to be focused on. I don't care if he picks it up by the handle. I don't care if he bites it from the side. Like, I really don't care how he bites it. I just want his engagement with it. See how he's pursuing me? That's what I want. And I want him to really, really want to possess the item. So right now these puppies are at a very early stage of training, but who knows, in the future they could be DDK's next stars. I'll be doing this with the dog for the next like, you know, couple weeks. I mean, it's, it's a slow process. It's a slow process, slow transition. It's just a matter of watching how it goes, seeing how it goes, and adapting to what we see in front of us. Well, picking the best dog for protection work, it's honestly the hardest part, I think. It's really a process of of, of, of elimination almost, but so, you know, sometimes the dogs really just show themselves to you, so I have to just be honest with us about that. Like Sosa was a dog that really just showed himself. You know, he was just kind of standing out that he was like, I am gonna be good for this. The things that I look for in puppies is that, you know, they're confident, um, you know, they're, they're, they're calm, you know, and they have, you know, good natural drive. The puppies have ripped off a panel, so we're going to need to get a new, a new dog house before they escape. We're gonna take Sosa up to the training room. It's a totally new environment for him. All I really want for him is to get comfortable up there and understand that this is a place where we work, train, and have fun. New reaction, never thought he would react like this, but this is what I mean. New space, he's like, what in the mother is this? Hold on, what's going on? He, he's gotta be able to be comfortable up here, that's the key, so he has to be Comfortable, every dog, we bring them up here, we just let them just wander around, just kind of get used to the area, play with them, show them that when they come up here, it's gonna be exciting, they're gonna have a good time, they're gonna learn stuff. The way he's picking up everything, he puts everything in his mouth, everything that he can find, he picks up. It doesn't matter what it is, that's what we want. Like, I'll have him pick up like plastic, little pieces of metal, like just, like, just honestly random things just to teach him with getting comfortable with putting his mouth on any type of surface. 
if they actually get a live bite for real, they may be confused by it at first, by the actual feeling. So the more type of things that we can put in their mouth, the more comfortable we can get them with, with their mouth. I mean, that's basically what it is. Now that he's comfortable up here, we just take advantage of it real quick, see that he kind of will do the same routine that he does outside, inside. You know, and that, I mean, that's basically it. Oh, right up in there. Let's see if he, if when I go out he have so. Yep, yeah, there we go. We need, come on, you gotta do that, bro. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Little test. Come on, toast. Come this way. You coming or what? He's gonna come. He's gonna wait. Come on. Gotta jump out. Come on, fella. Ready? Come on. Ready? Upward. Alright, come on, ready? Come on, buddy. You got the keys. You know how to do it. Come on. Come on. You gotta jump, though. If you use your little legs. To get him out is, um, I'd probably put him back in there, get his sister Jane, and start playing with her out here, and kind of teasing him up like that. It's gonna make him really want to come out, and I guarantee you, within a minute or so, he'll he'll be out of there. Yeah, just loop it around her neck for now. There we go. Come on, Jane. All we want to do is show him how to get out. That's all I want to do. I want to show him that it was possible. So now, if we leave again, now that he saw that he could get out, hopefully he just does it again. Training puppies can definitely be frustrating at times. As long as we stick to the path, I think they're going to be all right. Yep, foot. Yep, there you go. Give him hot, heavy praise. There you go. Dog training is all about patience. It had been a little while trying to get him out, trying different things, so it was good to see him finally overcome that uh, kind of mental block and, um, and get out there and, um, and watch his confidence grow to realize that he could get out himself. And um, that's kind of what we do with everything moving forward and all different types of training. The more they see, the more their confidence grows and the more they'll be able to do. Overall, Sosa will be all right. Sosa will be just fine. You're like Kobe at first, man. This is, this is what Kobe was like. He was like, no thanks. Come on. You're there now. Man, you're soft kind of, bro. But I'd say uh, the most I've ever sold a dog for is about $95,000. You know, a lot goes into it. You know, that's why the price is, is very high. So generally it takes about 14 to 16 months to train one of these puppies to be at the highest level. So we got a long road to go, but there's no doubt in my mind that I'll be able to turn these puppies into some pros. Sometimes I have to remind myself that even Hulk started out like this. What was Hulk like as a puppy? I think Hulk might have been the cutest puppy ever. All right, everybody, this is the Hulk. A couple days over five weeks. I don't know if anybody has topped Hulk cuteness. My goals for Sosa are, you know, I mean, I'm gonna take him as far as, as he can go, as far as we can go together. I want him to be able to showcase every last bit of what I can do when it comes down to dog training. He's got a lot to carry, but he's the prodigy. I think he's got it. <laughs>